Ready? Stand up. Sit here. Come on, put your foot in. Put your foot in there. Stand up. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Somebody got new sneakers. Somebody got new sneakers. Come on, sweet girl. Me. Come on, come on, let's grab your backpack. Come on. Don't forget your water. Here, let's give you a little bit more water before we leave, okay? Good morning, you guys. You're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. Y'all, we missed last Sunday. It was just too much going on. And today is crazy, all right? Hit the ground running. Quiet, you. Hit the ground running. Today is a dental appointment day, so we usually make our appointments in the morning. This is for her. And then she'll go to therapy um, in the afternoon. So it's one of those days where I'm getting nothing done for me. It's going to be a running around for Ann type of day, so I'm just getting myself in the mental headspace for that. I figure I drop her off after all this dentist stuff, and then I'll go for a run because I need to clear my head. Like I've been having some rough nights. Just reflecting on things, you know, her condition and just all the responsibilities and just really feeling like I really don't have time for me. I know it might look different from the outside looking in, but I'm telling you from inside, right? Uh, I have not really had time for me. Like my hair, y'all, like I'm still wearing these braids from when I had those faux locks in. I don't know if y'all know, but that was like a month ago. I've just been wearing wigs and playing it off, but like I, you know, I have not, you know, had a chance to do anything. So I've just been you know dealing with that um, a little bit um, so yeah we're running a little bit behind for this dental appointment but I feel like in the past every time I've rushed out the house to this thing we would get there early and be sitting in the damn uh, lobby so I was like I'm not gonna rush this time uh, and so we're good we're good on time I'm just I'm, we're good on time so yeah I'm just gonna bring you guys in here for a second on my phone of course I know, I was like, he's going to go to the I think he'll be fine through the fillings next time. So we'll, um, after the next scene. Stop it. <laughs> Somebody had a good dental visit. No x-rays, of course. I don't know when we'll be able to do those, but no sign of any decay otherwise on the surface. You got you a balloon, and You got a balloon, mommy? One thing about these dentist visits is that they be quick. We'd be in and out of there in like 25 minutes. So she got, what it would have been longer if we had done the um, x-rays, but she got her, um, let me turn this down. We got her uh, teeth cleaned and her dental exam was very, very good. Yay! So, it's actually really quite warm. It's 63, so we gotta take these coats off, y'all. I had to hold Ann down with some serious force this time. Yeah, she's getting a lot stronger, so it's harder to get her to comply with physical restraint and so I had to really hold her this time y'all I wanted to vlog a little bit so I could show y'all what it'd be like but I did notice the sign on the wall that said no photography or recording <laughs> so I was like I'm not gonna be that girl ain't nobody gonna be in here checking me so um I didn't even bother but yeah it was really really rough this time but she tried her best like she always does sweet girl all right uh now I'm gonna drop her off at school <laughs> All right, Ann is at school. I'm parked over here by the uh, trail. I stepped back by home to see what Anthony was up to. 
He ain't doing nothing. It's protecting my face. The weather's beautiful, it's only 70. I got my sunglasses, my headphones. Got my phone in my pocket. <laughs> my car key in my pocket. I'ma do close to six miles today, cause that's how I'm feeling. Apple Watch ready, Nike Run app. Let's go. So this is the trail I'll be running on right here. This thing goes all around and through. These are my running shoes. These are the Nike Zoom X. These are so good, y'all. Look at that cushion on the back. I'll put a link for these if you guys want to check them out. But um, yeah, my knee usually gives me issues when I run. This knee right here. <clears throat> but ever since I started running in these, there's been no pain. In fact, if my knee is hurting and I put these on, it stops hurting. So that's how much I'm in love with these. I was talking about these on my Instagram. I did a partnership with Nike regarding these running shoes and also some of the running gear like these pants. But I don't just be talking and blowing smoke when it comes to Nike. It's either good or it's not, right? Um, but their stuff is elite. It's some of the best in the industry. So definitely recommend it, um, especially these running shoes. For sure. Okay, let's go. Woo, y'all, yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> So I'm all done. I didn't do six miles. I did five and two tenths of a mile. I was trying to for sure at least hit 8K. I went over the 8K because I missed the Shamrock Shuffle this past weekend where everyone was doing the 8K. So I wanted to make up for it. Very dehydrated. So I'll be drinking water for the next hour straight. I feel really accomplished. I feel great. Mentally clearer. Um, I feel like I always have my best workouts when I'm thinking hard on something for some reason. Uh, yeah, I did it with no music because my freaking headphones were not working. I think uh, I'm not charging them right when I try to charge them. I think they are not, I think they have no juice in them. So I did it without any music at all. But listen, this trail was so calming and peaceful that I, I ain't even mad at it. So anyway, I'm really excited about lunch. I feel like I really earned it. I'm getting me some ramen and that's that. Alrighty, took my shower feeling nice and fresh and brand new. Got on my 1983, okay? Got the iPad, cause we're going to eat lunch. Me and Annie Boo, we're gonna go out and enjoy this beautiful 70 degree day. So let's go. Hey mommy, you ready for a ramen? Yay! Somebody already had their lunch, but maybe she'll want a snack. How about a snack, Ann? Snack? Snack? Mommy's starving. Ann? <laughs> So, oh, I'm tired. That's it. That's it. I'm kind of kind of tired. Um, I just got done um, putting the second set of blinds up in the living room here. I did the dining room yesterday. Can y'all see me? I did uh, the living room today, the dining room yesterday, and um, it looks a lot better. I'm just working on it. You know, I have to repair the wall and then I have to hang up the curtains that I ordered, which will not be delivered until tomorrow night. So it's kind of a process. I was gonna do a housework video, but I'm like, for hanging blinds and curtains? I'm like, I don't know. But I did film like a little reel, an inspirational type of reel for Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. That's where I post my, um, my little everyday little snippets and things like that. So I did do a reel, so I will show the process, but I'm just not gonna do it here because I'm not gonna turn a short clip into a long form piece of content, you know? Um, but we'll get back to some housework content. I know you guys have been asking about it We'll get back to some housework stuff. Just waiting for a bigger project to take place I'm actually working on um, Kind of redecorating uh, and tweaking Anne's bedroom. So I will do a video for that because that is gonna be a whole Revamp We're talking about painting walls. We're talking about building furniture. We're talking about 
changing the entire look. So I will definitely do a video for that one, a long form video. So anyway, um, yeah, me and Ann enjoyed our ramen date. Um, I'm just such a busybody, so when I got home, I'm like, mm, let me put this other blind set up. Yeah. Anthony's home, he was off today. His coworker was just here picking up some police uniform stuff. Um, and so they were hanging out and everything, and I'm just chilling, y'all. Hamburgerlicious! What's the problem? What are you doing, huh? Fish. So these are the blinds, y'all. You know, the Home Depot joints. So this is the one I just did. I gotta wait for this to dry so I can sand and paint. That's where the old curtain rod was. And then I'm gonna um, put the new one up here. So I'm just waiting for all that. Yep, yeah, turned out pretty good. You want me to bob my head? Ann, this isn't right. Ann, be careful with mommy's head. Say hi. Aww. Sweet girl. When she does that, she's waving. You say hi? Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Do you want say? Aww. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's learning about her animals and everything. They got the song that says S for snake and that sort of thing. So I just got home from a great day at school. They're playing on the floor. And mommy is in here, girl. Blow drying and dusting my ends. <laughs> I finally broke down and washed my hair last night. Girl, took those braids out that I had in for um, about five or six weeks. Um, let me turn this down. There we go. Y'all can see me better, more color. Um, so yeah, I took those down, washed, conditioned my hair, and now I'm just um, blow drying it. I'm just dusting my ends a little bit, y'all, just to make it easier to brush through it and all that because I don't really have time. So I'm doing that. Y'all wanna know what Anthony's doing? Let's go check on him. And um, oh yeah, so my curtains uh, delivered. Let me show y'all. Amazon packages, these are curtain rods and stuff like that. So yeah, my curtains came. I went ahead and got the 50 by 96, so these are the seven foot ones. And um, I didn't get the double wide like I have in my family room because I don't think I need that much fabric and here's why. So, you know, I did the double wide ones in here, the 100 inch, and I just feel like it's so much fabric, like it's so thick, you know? I don't. I didn't feel like I needed that for these um, front windows, so I went ahead and got the 50. Y'all, if I hate it, I'm just gonna order uh, an additional one and um, double them up, and I'll still have that that volume. But I just, I think I'm gonna try it with the single 50 inch just to see, because I just don't think I need that much fabric. But um, these are the drapes that I, I usually like to get from off Amazon. They're half price drapes. I'll put the link below if you guys want to investigate them. But these are actually really good for the price. Like they're super affordable and they're actually really good quality drapes, especially the ones in the family room, which are velvet, faux velvet. These are the faux linen. So this is my first time trying these, but yeah, the faux velvet, y'all, they're so good. Like I said, I'll put links below to all this stuff, but yeah, they're so good. You just need to really steam them. I had to order a steamer off Amazon because they are, they be so wrinkled, like there's no way you can get it out. But once you steam them, they look really, really stunning and expensive and a lot of people were saying that these are like the Pottery Barn dupes. These were like $100 each panel, I ain't gonna lie. But the Pottery Barn ones are like 250, so you do save a, you know quite a bit of coin um, by going with these half price drapes. They're really good. So yeah, let me get back upstairs so I can finish getting myself ready. What are you doing, mommy? Hey, come on out of here. She's obsessed with this guest room. I guess it gets so dark because you can close those curtains. Come on out of here, mommy. Come on, play in your, play in your room. Okay, y'all, this is the heat protectant I'm using. A little thermal shield, you know what I'm saying? I like this one because I usually like to um, blow dry my hair once it's already air dried, and this helps to kind of wet it back up a little bit so that it gets a nice smooth outcome without having to soak my hair back up. Cause I don't like blow drying from a soaking wet state, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, it's a really like funky, cold, rainy, um, day in Chicago, like, it's really kinda, it's really kinda unpleasant right now. Ann, are you okay? Anthony, Ann needs you. 
brush it all to the side like this. Rip it. Let those ends fly off into the trash with the scissors. So, there we go. Nothing precise about it, but I don't really care. You know, like I don't really, I don't wear my hair straight at all. So having it be super even is not really even a priority for me. If and when it comes becomes a priority, I'll just have it cut even. But right now I'm just cutting it to make it convenient because I don't like those little tangles on the end. It be getting in the way when I'm trying to detangle and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Done with that side, let me do this side and it will be done. And so far only about 20 minutes have elapsed. <laughs> the other heat protectants I be using, they have like this little weird oily kind of residue on them. They don't really feel wet. They don't feel dry. It's like this weird texture. Um, so I like this one because it actually is a true wet feel. And it's nice for like getting the hair nice and slick and smooth. All right, hey you guys, I'm back. It's the next day. I got up today wanting to just really tidy up my house and finish off these windows. And when I did that, I was inspired to do a little decorating. So I'm just gonna show you guys a few things that I did um, to finish off these, um, the look of these windows. Okay, y'all wanna see it, come on. <laughs> so first and foremost, y'all, I went ahead and grabbed some fake eucalyptus. I think that's what this is, some type of fake uh, foliage for right here. And I just popped that in that vase, switched up a little bit, right? So this is just giving us a little bit more green for the spring. Sansa is chilling right here. Hey, Sansa. Girl, she was just getting on my nerves. I had to yell at her. Like, girl, would you sit? She was a little too excited, so now she's laying down. Anne's playing, having a great time. We were putting this little puzzle together that I just got her today. It's a Melissa and Doug product. Um, it's for little, little kids, like two or three year olds, but Anne still really likes it because she's into the animal sounds right now, so. I still got it for her. I mean, it can't hurt. I brought Ann's tent up here. I'm, I can't wait to tackle her room for the redecorating that I'm planning on doing. Come on, Sansa, let's go downstairs. Okay, let me show y'all kind of what I've done. Listen, I was cleaning up so much today. It's so crazy because my cleaning lady is coming in 36 hours, but I just could not um, look at it another second. So anyway, y'all, here's the dining room. You might notice a few changes. Well, first of all, let's look at the curtains. <laughs> Uh, it turned out so good. Um, I could not be more pleased, y'all. I just steamed them. And um, these are like the faux linen, like I was saying, I think yesterday, and they just turned out so nice. I really just want this type of style of curtain all over my house. Uh, if I could change the ones in the family room to linen, I probably would, but I still like those. But I really, really like these, and I wouldn't want to do them any other way but those ring hooks. I feel like that's what really brings it home. Yeah, when I was hanging these, the middle uh, brackets are attached to the stud. because There's a stud right there. And then on the ends here, I just used my um, anchors. But y'all, on this particular one where I measured out, um, there was something behind the wall. I still don't know what it was, but it would not let me do a screw. I tried so many different methods. It would not let me go through, and it was not a stud. Be clear, it was not a stud. It was something else but behind the wall there. No clue what it is. So I had to end up moving the bracket over maybe like three inches. Um, and I don't think it's all that noticeable because I went ahead and pulled the rod out a little bit more on this side than that side so it can kind of look even to the naked eye if you're not looking directly at the brackets. But y'all, like, ugh, it was a mess. But I think I fixed it. I think I had a makeshift uh, fix for that. I set out the table and put out my white plates with the black chargers because I could not find the black and white plates anywhere, y'all. So I'm going to have to keep on looking. But um, I got this uh, candle holder from at home, y'all. I really love the brass detail on there, y'all. I did not even know that that's what I needed in here. It, it has such an elegant style. It really brings this table together. It makes it so that you don't have to add any other centerpieces. It stands alone very nicely. So I'm really excited about it, y'all. I did not realize I would want brass in here, so I might end up doing um, a bit more brass detail. We will see. But I moved those two faux plants that were on either side of my buffet. I just feel like the whole symmetry of it all was doing too much. So I put one of them here and then the other one over there. I like that so much better. And then this is what I did to the buffet top. Um, I picked up this little sculpture piece from at home. It's like um, a metal, painted metal or something. Really love the way that looks, y'all, that black. Looks really nice bouncing off those frames. And then I got these little 
pottery pieces. Well, actually, these might be wood. Yeah, these are wood, and they've been carved and whitewashed. I just love the way that looks. This nice pot here, and I put the fake eucalyptus leaves, similar to the ones upstairs in my walkway, but these are different. They cost like $2 more per bundle, but um, yeah, I really, really like those, y'all. I had to cut them down a little bit to fit the right height, but I love it. I love it against the black and white family photo art. I really, really, really like it. Now, as you can see why I had to move the plants because this would have just been too much like green leafy stuff going on over here. So I had to ditch the other plants because this one took priority because I really love it. Okay, and then this is how it looks when the candles are lit. So nice, y'all. Look at that. Sansa, do you like it? <laughs> So I really, really like it, okay? I think it turned out nice, y'all. I'm still thinking about some stuff I can put like over here or over here. We'll see, but y'all let me know if y'all have any ideas. Maybe some vases, I don't know, girl. So let me just show y'all the um, living room really quick. This is really the only thing to see over here because I'm replacing all this furniture, but yeah, y'all, it looks so nice. I just love the way it bounces. You know, it bounces from left to right. I had to make them the same since they were kind of like twin windows. But yeah, the windows, man, changed everything. Oh, so one more thing I wanted to show y'all. So in my family room here, I got all the candles lit. It's a candle evening. Um, I went ahead and got some new candles for uh, my lanterns. It comes with a remote so I can turn them on with the push of a button. It's looking like it's blinking, but it's actually not blinking at all. It's just, it's hard to photograph illumination uh, sometimes. So yeah, those two lanterns are right here under my family photo wall. I'm actually adding four more photos to this wall. I just haven't had a chance to go back to Ikea yet to get those frames. I can change different colors. I can go red for Halloween. I can go, this is the warm tone here that just looks like regular uh, candlelight. I can go more yellow, green. I can go purplish, bluish, just all types of stuff. So I just love that. Oh, I can also do this mode which makes it flicker like an actual candle. So sorry y'all can't see it, but anyway, so nice. They just took three AAA batteries and um, I got those uh, fake candles from at home. So I'm just working on dinner over here. We are going to be having um, some of this pasta with some pasta sauce. Got all that from at home. I saw it, I was like, hmm, that can be dinner. And then I'm just gonna put some of this ground turkey breast in there and we're just gonna have like a nice little pasta and meat dinner. So yeah, it's been a heck of a day, okay? Really, really busy last few days, but I'm glad you guys were able to hang out with me. I'm gonna go check on Ann and make sure she's straight. And I guess for now, I will close this vlog out. I just really wanted to show y'all the windows because I was really excited about those. And I want you guys to give me your decorative ideas on what else I could be doing to make things better. I've been listening to you guys. I've been loving the results of your advice. So keep it coming. Like I told y'all, like, you know, the longer you're in your house, the more you really get to know what you really need out of each room. And sometimes things will change. And I don't regret doing this myself because I love the way this feels. I'm glad I was able to build to this point and there's still more building to do and I just love this process. So I think I'm getting better at it. Y'all let me know what you think, but I am loving it. So really that's all that matters. So I love you guys so much. I will talk to you in my next vlog, okay? Mwah.